Oh. Hey guys, every day we're gonna be opening eight box case 2122 OPG Platinum Hockey. Each individual box has 12 cards packed, 12 packs per box. Any given single box of 2122 Platinum should be expecting an autograph, 11 base parallels, five numbered base parallels, six retros, one retro rainbow, and 12 inserts. But before we end today's video, this video is sponsored by Mirage Trading. Looking for sealed boxes yourself? Check out MirageTrading.com. Featuring old and new boxes ranging from hockey TCG. Be sure to check out the wave four of pre orders for Upper Deck Series 2 going down this Sunday, December 10th at 7 p.m. Eastern. So be sure to check it out if you can't make that one be sure to check out the blog post as there will be other waves of series 2 pre-orders and other things on there also be sure to check out mirage breaks as mirage breaks was created to better cater to canadian collectors as it saves usd conversion fees and shipping costs also if you want to get deals on multiple spots just contact mirage trading on instagram and you can make a deal there so thank you mirage trading for sponsoring today's video all links will be in the description and let's get into today's video all right finally decided to get a case of 2122 platinum as this case costs 1200 canadian with an eight box case that equates to 150 dollars canadian per box box the 2122 Platinum on release were $300 in a lot of places. It ranges from $250 to $3. I'm pretty sure I paid like $299 all in for my release day box. So, so yeah, finally getting some infamous 2122 Platinum. Obviously, I strayed away from this with all the problems that it has, mainly pertaining to the centering issue. Upper Deck has even admitted that the whole production is fricked with the centering. So yeah, at 50% off, I was like, screw it. I've been meaning to open this. So I said, why not? My expectations are on the floor. I had zero expectations for this. Maybe get some nice cards here. I'll throw up the parallels here. I'm expecting to get plenty of hot magmas at $499. Some violent pixels of 299. I'm hoping to get an emerald surgeon here. Maybe a couple orange checkers and seismic golds. As you do get five number cards per box. Now for autographs, there is that blue autograph that's one in five boxes, 160. That is a sticker auto, which does take away an on-card autograph. There is 96 packs in an eight-box case, so should be getting at least one of those. Granted, you can get some decent players in there, so it's not all that bad. That's some rookie autos, base rookie autos are 130. For whatever reason, for this year, a lot of the other rookie autographs that were numbered have stated odds now and aren't numbered, so definitely don't like that. They could have just added more base rookie autos and kept the numbering on the cosmics and the map pinks but there's that so yeah let's check out 2122 platinum this is gonna be a three-part series or two boxes will be open part one and three for part two and three for part three so let's get right into it but i fricked up violently fricked up i was just throwing haymakers in the air contemplating a forever nap as i already recorded this video and the audio got fricked after being bugged out and yelling like a lunatic i was like come on you gotta salvage this video so i had the footage of me opening the packs but buddy fricked it with the audio so we're gonna have to do this a little differently here i did talk about the product a lot and it was a good video and i'm I'm kind of sad that I fricked it, but I apologize. But here's the base cards, which isn't the focal point for these. I believe you get at least six of these in a pack. So yeah, and I have to do part one a little differently here. I do want to violently choke myself out, but I'll wait till after I get this video out. So some basic rookies here. Again, for 2122, they expanded it to 200 cards for the base and 100 rookies. So it goes pretty deep here. Most of these are just cheap uh, rookie cards here. There's a Spencer Knight who has a 99 in the cup. I didn't mention that. Cup's coming out less than two weeks now. Jeez, it's right around the corner, but there's Perfetti. He's been good this year. So just some basic marquee rookies here there's swayman best goalie in this crop there's ben Watt, so brett murray there's quentin byfield the guys i'm looking for here will be byfield either mason mctavish jj paterka so there's just a base rookie byfield there there's another one of him there a couple of zach jones eklund who's been decent on a not so great sharks team even though sounds like he's been pretty decent after losing a crap ton of games so there's that more basic rookies here i know centering is a major issue with this product some of the parallels are much more apparent to that but you can definitely see it with even the base rookies here that has like a 70 to 30 split there left to right for a lot of these so there's anton landell kupari dawson mercer so philip thomas you know just some basic rookie cards here seth jarvis so there is that just seen a bunch of same rookies again there there's cole caulfield his base rookie probably has some value there so there's that his golden treasures has been pulled sold for a ridiculous amount of money i know mcdavid's base golden treasures sold like a month or so ago as well but keep that in mind those are probably the two best cards in the product so there's wade allison kalna new hooks so there's a trevor zegris base rookie there he's been injured I'll talk about him soon. Hint, hint. But uh, what do we got here? Lucas Raymond, rookie. He's been decent this year, so... There you go, some basic rookies there. Yeah, you get three basic rookies per pack, and there's 12 packs in a box, so there should be like 72 rookies right there. Now, this is a contents from two boxes, so should be expecting 10 number cards in here from two boxes and two autographs, but here's some inserts, photo-driven, Debrinket, Besser, Spencer Knight, Laugh, let's hold it this way, Bennington, Byfield, <laughs> Brad right there, Aho, Alex Newhook, Crystal Tang, so just a basic photo-driven there. You got six of the die cuts there, Patrick Kane, Haskinen, Jack Hughes, Austin Matthews, Laugh, Connor McDavid, so just some basic inserts there there are one-on-one parallels of this i know byfield's one-on-one sold recently of that then you got some sweet selections spencer knight york phillips there's jeremy swayman valeno so these are all rookies spencer knight again valeno again barry boulet and then here's our retros from the boxes i believe they're five per right so kupari rookie john carlson alex holtz rookie mark shifley Connor mcdavid 
Retro, Kerry Price, Leon Dreisel, Jonathan Taze, Patrick Laine, Quentin Byfield, Philip Gustafson, and Jason Robertson. And here's where you can see the centering issues, especially with the rainbows and the matte pinks. But here's our rainbows. We've got a Kerry Price rainbow. That's pretty aggressively off-centered there. Ron Bjork, not as bad. It's a mixed bag with the centering here. Like Kyle Burrows here, definitely off-center. Dante Fabro, not too bad there. And you got Matt Grizzly, pretty badly off-centered. There's some aggressive off-center cards in this product. I'll throw up one right now. But it seems like it's been a mixed bag for these first two boxes here. This Kirby Doc. I mean, as long as your top end poles are fine, that's what really counts. But you kind of want to have your other stuff, your smaller stuff, be nicely centered. And that's just not the case with this product. That's why it's 50% off of what it was going for on release day. But there's a Perunovic rainbow. Jonathan Quick. Taylor Hall. There's a Sample Ranta. Jason Zucker. Devon Taze. And you get one of these retro rainbows per box. You got Shane Pinto and Andre Fetchikov. And you got six sunsets here. There's William Carlson. The Barai Boulay. There's Connor Hellebuck. So some of these are centered. Some aren't. Jake Lecision. There's a Laugh and Jacob Chikrin. Here's the worst culprit for centering, the matte pinks. Even though some are definitely worse than others, we got two boss who had a scary incident last night as of this recording there. I hate seeing that. Hopefully we make a quick recovery there, but there's Larkin. Matte pink. This one's definitely off center. Maxim Shushko. That's actually not too bad of a matte pink for centering. Jacob Bryson. I'm not even going to talk about centering for matte pinks because most of them will look like this. Pretty aggressively off center. And Miko Renton, who is also off center. Now for the intriguing stuff, we did get one of these. The OPG Premier. I believe these are still unannounced. Sebastian Ajo. Premier card there. Now the back is aggressively off center. So we got a premier card. So there's that. Let's get on to the number cards here. I guess we'll do one at a time here. First number card, Hot Magmas, 499, Alex Petrangelo. So like the Aquamarines, these are just filler number cards there. 457, 499. This is the way they produce more boxes than platinum. This sticker auto and getting rid of some of the serial numbered rookie autos and by making the players sign a lot more of them. But there's Petrangelo, the 499. We got another Hot Magma, Ryan Getzlaff. That's also 499, 427 to 499. So these don't go for a whole lot there. And we got some Violent Pixels. Jesper Bratt. That is the 299 there. 199 of 299 for Bratt Violent Pixels. And we have Eric Carlson Violent Pixels. That is 254 of 299 for Carlson. I do like to look at the Violent Pixels. Definitely one of the nicer, higher numbered cards there. And we have a Dante Fabro Violent Pixels there. So that's 105 of 299 for Fabro. Then we go on to lower number cards. We got some Red Prisms of 199. We got Artemi Panarin Red Prism of 199. That's 116 of 199 for Panarin. So decent little pull there. He's having a great year this year. Then we got Trevor. Zegris, which is a nice poll there. Red Prism Marquee Rookie. That is 29 of 199. Who has been injured a lot this year. Only been in 12 games. Not looked all that great. I would say McTavish has definitely passed him in this crop for sure. For Ducks players there, but still happy to get a pretty nice numbered parallel of one of the top guys there. Trevor Zegris, Red Prism Marquee Rookie. And then we got one retro number card in here. Retro Blue Rainbow. I was happy when I pulled this one. Card Verhege. Retro Blue Rainbow. 16 of 199. And look at the numbering there. It's all rainbow foil, but there you go. Card Verhege. Retro Blue Rainbow there. And then we got some more numbered cards here. We've got the Arctic Freeze of 99 of Brinson Pastchuk. That's 83 of 99, so not the best of names there, of course. 100 rookies in here, so it stretches pretty deep, but there's Brinson Pastchuk, Arctic Freeze. One of the few hockey-themed parallels in here. Basically, a successor to, like, the white ice and the black ice back in, like, 14, 15, 15, 16. But there's a Brock Nelson, so we got a Seismic Gold in here. It's Brock Nelson. 37 of 50, so we did get one Seismic Gold there. One of the more desirable parallels for sure, but Nelson isn't the most desirable player, but good to get a Seismic Gold there. We did get a hobby exclusive orange checkers we got roman yossi unfortunately like the kachuk i have in the back you can definitely see the lines there on that so it's not only the centering that's an issue with this product there's a lot more than that then again this line issue has been a problem with all of like chromium cards and their parallel pattern so there's that and then we got two autographs which one should we start with here well i guess we'll start off with the parallel autograph we did get a parallel autograph we got blue tracks auto of oscar steen so these are one in the 144 packs there's 96 packs in an eight box case so we got oscar steen there that's not too bad of a pull. There's our first rookie autograph of Oscar Steen there. Like the design there. I kind of wish Blue Cues is back, but that's nice. And we got a Seth Jarvis. So good rookie autograph there. Decently centered. I mean, most of our top pulls were decently centered. So there's Jarvis. Really good player. Really good complete player there already at a young age. So there's a rookie auto of Seth Jarvis. So yeah, there's part one of the case. Yeah, guys, there's part one of the case. Fricked up the audio there aggressively. Wanted to choke myself out. Parts two and three should be fine. Hopefully. Hope I don't frick it up again. So there's that. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys later.